In the faction warfare system, the fastest way to earn faction points and faction standing, while also unlocking reward chests in the faction campaign, is to help your city capture and defend outposts. Most of the regions in the Royal Continent have at least one faction outpost. On the world map, you can easily see how many outposts there are in any given region. These outposts are fortifications protected by seven faction guards and a boss. Players who are not flagged for a faction can approach an outpost unhindered. But if someone who is flagged for an opposing faction gets close, the guards will attack the player to defend the outpost. So, to capture an enemy faction's outpost, take a group of players flagged for your own faction and kill all the guards and defeat the boss. Then, stand in the circle in the middle of the outpost until the ring around the circle fills with the fire of your faction's color. Simple, right? But not just any outpost can be captured, and members of opposing factions can see, on the world map and the region map, when any outpost is under attack. They might have something to say about you trying to take their outposts. In order to capture an outpost, your faction must control at least one adjacent region. For example, if Bridgewatch controls Redstone Plain and Martlock does not control any adjacent regions, then players from Martlock could attack and kill the guards and bosses at the outposts in Redstone Plain, but they would not be able to capture the outposts because their faction does not control adjacent regions. You cannot capture an outpost that is behind the enemy's front line. Regions that are behind the front lines are called backline regions. When you view the world map with the faction warfare filter, these regions are marked with the sword and crossbar icon to show that they cannot currently be captured by any faction. However, the icon only appears in regions that no faction can take from their current owner. Therefore, it's important to look carefully at the roads leading into the region you want to capture and make sure it's connected to at least one region that is controlled by your faction. To take control of a region, simply capture more of its outposts than any other faction. Once your faction controls the majority of outposts, the region capture process can take some time. You can see a progress bar at the top of the screen and on the world map just above the name of the region. Holding more outposts speeds up the process. For example, in a region with five outposts, your faction will take over faster if you seize and hold all five than if you only hold three of the outposts. In blue and yellow regions, faction combat is not lethal. Players who are defeated by other faction members here do not die and lose their items. Instead, they respawn at a nearby outpost controlled by their faction. However, your faction must maintain control of every region in a supply line leading back to your home city. In a cutoff region, your faction cannot capture outposts or respawn. If you are knocked down, you will respawn in a nearby region if possible. If you're knocked down too far behind enemy lines, you'll lose your faction flag and respawn at the region entrance. Of course, if you're knocked down by a monster or an NPC, and you haven't been damaged by an enemy player or faction boss recently, you can get back up, so you never need to respawn. If you do get knocked down and respawn, don't forget to take advantage of the convenient repair station found in every faction outpost. Anyone can use these repair stations, even members of opposing factions. This lets you stay in the action near the front lines so you don't have to ride all the way back to the city to repair your gear. In addition to earning faction points by capturing a region, all factions except the Carleon Bandits also passively earn points for the regions they already control. Players with their faction flag enabled automatically earn points in standing periodically. Each region has its own strategic value. This is illustrated by the number of stars shown when viewing the world map with the faction warfare filter. More stars mean the region is worth more faction points. Regions in blue and yellow zones are typically worth fewer faction points than similar regions in red zones. When a region is captured by an enemy faction, the current value of the region is credited to the faction that captured it, and the value resets and begins to regenerate. The yellow progress bar below the stars shows the region's point regeneration. 
Each time the yellow progress bar fills completely, another star is added to the region value, up to the maximum value for that region. Therefore, regions that have not been captured recently are worth more points, both to the faction that captures them and to the faction that controls them. From time to time, the Bandit Assault event occurs. When this happens, the Carleon Bandits automatically seize control of all red regions. If your faction wants to control these regions, they'll have to take them back. The event lasts for one hour, and at the end of the event, large point bonuses are paid to everyone who participated based on how many regions they were able to conquer, as well as how well they performed overall. Check out these other videos for more information about the faction warfare system.